stuff. It's I just heard something too. Like a squeak. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. this area where we're standing right now is we we thought it was the best place to just have like a quiet minute and just listen. Because it's so ambient, you can hear stuff in the whole entire house mm -hmm. right here. I want to point out to you girls, because I don't think I did this uh, earlier. Uh, Doug is a minister, and uh, if you want him to bless your house, he'd be ha they might be happy about it as well. Uh, would you be interested in having your house blessed? I'm, I'm, I'm asking the two of you. Oh, I can't see that. <laughs> I knew they were looking right at yeah, I knew too. I was like, hmm. <laughs> you, know, you don't need to if you don't want to. It's uh, just, uh, it, it offers comfort to possibly the spirits that are here and to you as well. And uh, it's entirely up to you. I mean, I, I don't. I don't feel like there's anything negative here. Oh, I don't either. Um, yeah, I definitely don't think there's anything in this house that would that would. And hurt if there you. were something that in that fashion, we would we would tell you what we thought. Immediately, we wouldn't have. We won't hold anything like that away from you. Oh no. Um, the other thing is, whenever we do these ghost hunts, I have to spend all day long, you know, reading and praying and stuff to prepare just in case that you want. And me doing that when I walk into a house. It's it's pretty easy to tell if there's something bad in here for me, mm -hmm. and this if there's anything in here, it's like you know family or people who like like you guys said like built the house. It's it's people who just want to be comfortable here too. It's what it seemed like to me. I feel totally comfortable here. I could I go too. lay down on your couch and watch TV. And if there's we've been in other houses mm -hmm. where there are some stuff in there that's just crazy, and I wanted to run back out. I just feel uncomfortable in such a room. In, in Sage's room. I don't feel comfortable in that room at all. Let me, let me tell you watched. one thing. Let me tell you one thing about that room is it, me and Will and all of us talk, talked about it and we're still going to review evidence. But that room is, uh, it's on a side of the house where the wind is constantly hitting it. The atmosphere in that room is different than any other section of the house. So it's always going to feel like a, and I'm not saying uncomfortable, but it's always going to feel different. So as you're comfortable in your bedroom, you're comfortable in your in your comfy living room where it's nice and warm and everything, it's not that way in her room. So it's always gonna it's gonna feel like another house. I, I could tell there it was a lot cooler in there than it is the rest of the house. Mm -hmm. And and that that's gonna make a difference. That's gonna and that's the reason why people don't like basements, is because the atmosphere in a basement is and different. What, what was your than what, atmosphere in, in the, sorry, what was your take on the um, electromagnetic magnetic fields in that room? Did you guys go through there? I I just operated the camera. They uh they checked out um there was there was a couple places that they oh the um washer and dryer mm -hmm. the EMFs were super low okay. for for what well maybe as there. we're breaking down we could do an EMF sweep in that room just okay. to just just to see in in the in the girls room yeah okay so sounds good okay. go out and yeah. Did you have the SOS? Did you yep. flip on some lights and Yeah, you guys know where the light switches yeah. are. You can start flipping lights on if you want. There we go. I'll go ahead and take those from you.